what's up guys brian here and i'm back again with another awesome video in today's video i'm going to walk you guys through the three important steps that you should take when exporting your images for instagram facebook or any other social media the three important steps are the cropping the sharpening and the export settings itself that's what i'm going to show you guys in this video so that you get the most crispy and color accurate images as possible on the social media that you're trying to okay. upload on i know what it feels like to spend hours editing images on your pc to get the colors to look just the way you want the skin to look just the way you want and when you export the image and upload on instagram or any social media it will just look crappy like the colors will be off and all that that's why i'm going to show you guys in this video how to export it the proper way so you don't encounter any of those issues now the step i'm going to show you guys in the beginning part of this video is the manual way of doing it but if you watch to the end i'm going to share with you guys a free automated way of doing it just one click and the entire process will be done automatically for you so without further ado let's begin <laughs> welcome to the magical world of photoshop guys this is the image we are going to use today this beautiful image that i shot a while ago i already exported the image so it's like full resolution and you know very big in size if i upload it like this on instagram it will get compressed and look horrible so let's go about the three steps that i mentioned before the first step is the cropping so let's talk about the cropping and let me show you how to go about the cropping for the cropping we just use the crop tool right here it's by the tool bar here if you can't see just press on the keyboard shortcut c and it will automatically select the crop tool for you now there are two ways that you can crop your portrait images for instagram like the two ways that instagram permitted the two aspect ratios the first one is the one by one aspect ratio which is a square image and the four by five aspect ratio now research has been done on these two ways of cropping your images like the two aspect ratios and the result that came out consistently is that the four by five aspect ratio which is the one with the longer edge always yields better engagement because it takes up more screen space on the viewer's device so when possible always use the 4x5 don't go with the square images just use the 4x5 because it will show more of the of the image so if you notice this image is like really long so i have to crop some part of it because instagram won't allow you to upload the image the way it is you have to crop it to either the one by one or the four by five aspect ratio so instead of doing it on instagram yeah you do it in photoshop and you save yourself the stress so just move the image up and down to till you're satisfied with the way to look and then click on the ok button up here and it will crop the image just the way you selected it so now with this crop this is how it's going to look on instagram let's move to the next step the second important step in exporting your images is the sharpening step now if you sharpen your image in your raw processing software or before this stage you should be careful so that you don't get your image to look like really weird because i see some people sharpen the image to the point that a person won't even look like a human being again so for this stage i always use an action by greg benz it's the the convolution sharpening technique i'll leave a link to it down in the description box so you can download the 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 action and install on your on your photoshop so that once you just click on it to sharpen automatically for you so for the sharpening this is the action if you are new to photoshop and you don't really know much about actions i made a video on actions and stuff like that so you can go check it out so that you get to understand how to locate the action and also install it so i'm going to use the the high the convolution sharpening for this image i'm going to use the high that is the 50 so to just let me duplicate this background layer to use it i just click on it because i'm in the button mode and it will automatically sharpen the image for me that's what i love about this um this action by greg benz so you can go check it out now if i zoom into the image i don't know whether you'll be able to see the difference but if i toggle the before and after you can really like clearly see the difference it sharpens it in a way that it still looks 
natural let me show you the before and after in this zoom out state this is the before this is the after now the sharpening is important because when you upload the image on instagram there will be small compression so if you don't sharpen your image you may lose some details on the image but when you sharpen it with the compression the image will still look crispy so now that we are done with the sharpening stage let's move to the final and most important part of this process the actual export itself so for the export we just go up here to the file tab click on it and under the file tab go to where you see export as you can see right here we are going to use the exporters over here to do the exporting you can also use save for web but i i hear people debate a lot that save for web always yield better result than exporters but i've compared the two and i've not seen any difference so I always use exporters because it has more features than the save for web legacy so i'll just click on it you can either just come here each time to click on it or you can just cram this shortcut here and use it whenever you want to export an image so i'll just click on the export task it will load up this window here okay so you have to first thing you need to do is to wait for the image to load up this might take time if you are on a slower pc but when i give you the action the automated action it will just go through it really quickly for you so if you look at the side you can see the size of the image if you export it the way it is now and also the the resolution so the current size is about 17 mb although when you export it it will be much smaller but it will still be really huge and what happens when you upload a huge image on social media is that they since they store the images on their servers they don't want to fill up their servers with your pictures like with your huge files so what they'll do is they'll compress it using ai to a really small size let's say about 300 kilobytes or maybe 100 kilobytes and with that file size they can store up the millions of pictures that get uploaded on this platform every hour so what you are going to do here is to actually resize the picture and reduce the resolution so that instagram or any social media won't have to do it by themselves because when they do it by themselves they they will actually mess up the, the image quality beyond what you wanted it to be so you take the whole thing from them and do it yourself so that when you upload the image they will look at the image and just be like okay this is good let's just save it on our savers that's why when you download an image from instagram or any social media you notice that the size is always around 300 kilobytes because they have to compress it for their server so if you upload it, an image of 20 mb it will get compressed so just compress it before you upload it so the first step here is to under the file settings make sure that the format is in jpeg jpg don't put it in png not G, just jpeg that's the file format that will give you the result that we are after because it is the most universally accepted image format so under quality keep it at 100 percent then under the image size this is where we are going to do an important adjustment we are going to change the image resolution from what it is now to an to a resolution that will be really small but yet still look good and instagram will accept it so for the width we'll go with 1080 by 1350 now once you input 1080 to automatically switch the height to 1350 if it doesn't just impute 1350 under height and leave the scale and the resample the same don't touch the canvas side just come down to the metadata here and basically what this place is saying do you want to keep your copyright and other information in the file or you want to get rid of it so I'll just keep mine then under color space click on make sure that convert to srgb is ticked don't untick it just make sure it's ticked then you can leave the embedded color profile off now why you need to keep this srgb ticked is that oftentimes most photographers when they are starting out they unknowingly edit in other color space like adobe rgb and when they export the image it will look different on different devices but when you convert it to srgb it is the color space that most digital platform and most displays you so if you convert it to srgb it will look uniform on all the devices but if you use adobe rgb you might get some weird colors at the end of the day so just convert it to srgb once you are 
Tick that. You notice that the resolution and the size has changed over here. Just click on export and then choose where you want to export it to. So I'll keep mine at desktop and just name it Instagram. Click on save and just wait for it to do its work. Now the image has been exported. So let's go have a look at it. I'll just click on my finder, go to the desktop and this is the file instagram let me double click to open it and this is what it looks like you can see let me open the full resolution picture that we had before this is the image before and this is the image now as you can see it the image here actually looks really really good although we resized and compressed it it still looks very good let me quickly compare the size and then show you guys how to do it automatically so for the size i'll just check the file information here and the original file was 8 megabytes and the current one now is just uh, less than one megabyte but it still looks good so now let's look at the automated way of doing this i'll just reset everything i did here now for the automated way the only thing you have to do is to crop the image you crop the image yourself so you just go this through the cropping process as we did before for this automated way we are going to use a script that was written by greg benz i'll leave a link to it down there in the description box so you can go and check it out and also download it from his channel the script once you download it there will be instruction on how to install it you just install the script and it will show up in your photoshop under the filter window you see it here web sharpen great bands so this is it so once you are done with your cropping just come to the filter save for web click on it okay this is showing up because i exported the image previously without using assigning any color profile and stuff so this may not show up when you are running yours but you don't have to worry about it this is what will show up when you click on the action it will show you the width and the height that it will export the image to just what we did before manually you can choose the quality whether you want the ultimate or high the difference between the ultimate and the high quality is not really that much but the file size is so the file size for the ultimate will be higher than will be bigger than the one in high so you can keep it at ultimate or high the difference is not really that much so we'll keep it at ultimate here then the sharpening amount just leave it at 100 percent you can choose to remove the metadata or just leave it there you don't just have to do much once this is autom automatically set for you so all you just have to do is click on sharpen that's after you have set your destination and you can see within two seconds it exported the image now let's go to the desktop and compare the first image that we exported manually and the second one that we just exported automatically using the script by grip bands and this is it this is the one we exported manually and this is the one we exported using the script by grip bands you can as you can see here there is no big difference there is no difference at all you won't really be able to see the difference when you look at it so if we check the file size of the new one you see that it's even smaller than the one that we did manually so with this when you upload on instagram your image will still look as clean and crispy as they looked on your laptop so that's it for this video guys i hope you learned a lot from this video if you did give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends if you are new to this channel click on the subscribe button ring the bell next to it so that you get to see other awesome videos in the future because if you don't ring that bell you won't be notified if you have any question leave it down there in the comment section and i will attend to it see you guys in the next video